welcome back to yet another episode of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Uh, I think this is the 10th episode now, so, um, yeah, uh, hooray for that, I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, you might be, uh, uh, be thinking, hey, what's that weird red thing that's on your back? What happened to, uh, that, that really cool, um, uh, Elytra te uh, te uh, texture resource pack, uh, thing that made, that made it look like you had phantom wings? Well, uh, right as I was logging on to, uh, uh, make this recording, uh, that you're watching right now, uh, a little message popped up on my Minecraft launch. Uh, do you know what it said? You are now able to migrate your account. So, I did! And, I now have a cape. Yay! Yeah, this is my first ever cape. I'm very happy about it. I'll just take off my elytra very quickly. You can see what it looks like. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, but you, you might be wondering why I've uh, started out this episode in the swamp. Uh, in my industrial district, rather. Well, that is because, uh, last episode, we built, uh, this thing right here. A slime farm. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's not bad. It produces, uh, uh, a fair amount of slime. Uh, okay, good. Um, uh, one of the few problems with this is that, uh, the, uh, minecart with Hopper will occasionally get stuck and I'll have to go in there and fix it, which isn't great. But the main issue that I have with it is the fact that, uh, well... I'm in a swamp. Yeah, I didn't really think about that. You don't need uh, a slime chunk. When you're in a swamp, you can make uh, a far easier to make uh, slime farm. And I just... What was I doing? I found loads of different uh, slime farm designs on YouTube that work in a swamp. Oh, I'm I'm a bit stupid sometimes. But yeah, if I just come down here, uh, I haven't done any AFKing at this thing. Uh, but uh, it's produced 14 slime balls, which is enough for a block and five slime balls, which is not bad. Um, and yeah. But yeah, I should probably uh, say uh, what I'm actually planning on doing in this episode. And in this episode, I want to get stuff done. Uh, because uh, I, uh, as you might, might have noticed, uh, I have a couple of tools that aren't yet upgraded to netherite. And I want to change that. I have another 16 pieces to get, uh, which will get me four netherite ingots for my shovel, my axe, uh, my hoe, which is in a shulker box in my end chest, uh, and just uh, any random diamond chest plate because um, uh, I really want uh, to complete all of the uh, advancements in this let's play because I've never done that before. And to do that, you need to get which one was it? Yeah, cover me in debris. Get a full suit of netherite armor. Oh, and if you're wondering what these are, these are just a couple of quality of life improvements, fast leaf decay. Uh, allowing you to silence mobs, just uh, a bunch of useful stuff uh, that, um, uh, honestly, I think should be in, in the game already, because, I mean, it's really annoying having to wait for a load of leaves to despawn, and honestly, it's not too game-changing. I think it's allowed, and if you don't think so, I couldn't care less. This is my world, not yours. So, yeah, I've got a certain TNT in here. I'll just pop on a golden helmet. And then head on through to the nether. Right, I have to go 192 blocks in this direction, so which direction is it? Okay, so it'll be... 750. Okay, I can manage that. On with the not a time lapse time lapse. I give up. I, I, uh, I can't get past that lava. What 
that didn't go far at all, did it? Well, that's some there. So, uh, I wasn't particularly lucky in this direction, and honestly, I'm not particularly hopeful for other directions. I really should have got some more TNT. But, I mean, I only had two and a half stacks last time, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, hopefully, I'll reach the amount that I want, but I'm not hopeful. Still no more ancient debris. I'm very happy right now, as I'm sure you can tell from my voice. Very happy. Oh. How am I so unlucky today? Probably missed like several massive clumps of them. Because I mean, we only get like two ancient debris per stack. And how on earth did I get 24 with two and a half stacks? Ridiculous. You know what, no, I'm gonna make uh, these two pieces of ancient debris that I got really count. And I'm gonna go out and manually dig out a hole to find another two pieces of ancient debris. There's one. There's a couple more. Oh, I've got five now. Oh, no. I'm going to keep digging. I need to keep digging. I'm going to dig. I'm just going to dig, dig, and dig until I get just a couple more. Oh, come on! Well, you know what this means. Oh, well, at least it was a free vein. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, you know what this means. I need to go get another two more.
Okay, yeah, I just look it up. Uh, turned out I'm on completely the wrong level. I need to head to Y15. This is very me. Right then. I should be rolling in level right now. One. Yes! Hey, come on, be a two-vein. Be a two-vein. That looks like a two-vein to me. Yes. Perfect. Twelve ancient debris. That will do me. Pickle. 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 Oh, that looks so weird in my hot bar, having these two be, uh, grey and purple and... Oh, I'm, I'm so happy. That isn't the only thing I'm going to be doing today. Oh, no. Uh, you may remember, a couple of episodes ago, uh, I asked you whether or not you wanted to see an end raid, uh, live on camera. Well, not live, but you know what I mean. Recorded in a video. And, I mean... I need a Sparrow Lightshirt because, uh, I mean, uh, this was my Sparrow Lightshirt before, as you may remember, I died. But, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go to the end, uh, see if I can find myself an end city, and I will meet you there. It's a big boy! Okay, I can see Shul- And the head is there. You get out of here. You for your shadow. I'm gonna pop in here, grab potions. You are in here. There's another one over there. Here. Nice. The elytra. Okay, the loot. That'll do. That will definitely do. Get the iron. Cool. One successfully raided end ship. Oh, hang on. There is one more thing that I need. Please. Okay, right. If I am correct. Yep, there is a shulker right there. Ah, uh, yep, of course you did that. Oh, no. Okay, uh, it isn't as big as I thought it would be, but that's fine. Because if it was too big, then video would go on for ages. And I've done that. Cool. cool trick to note is that if you use a bucket of water, then the, lev then the levitation effect actually like uh, it stops. It, 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 uh, the, the water cancels it out, so you can swim around in water. Which I think is pretty cool. Good thing to know. I'm not going to bother with parkour here. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Enderman. Didn't want to head up into that room just yet. Now I'm gonna head out here and see what this tower is about. Hang on, you know what? I may as well to think. Yeah, that's actually the main tower. What am I doing? <laughs> it's far more productive to check out here first. Save me a lot of time. 
Where are you at, sucker boy? Oh, hello. I think there's a shulker on the side of this building. No? Are you on the roof then? I feel like you're probably on the roof. No, you're not on the roof. That is a surprise. Well, where on earth are you then? I'm sure there was another shulker here. Oh well. Back later. Later, but you know, we... <laughs> yeah, no, this is actually a smaller entity than I originally thought. So, scratch what I said earlier. Oh, that could have been bad. By the falling for. You are so useful. I love you. Yeah, no, this is actually a pretty small end city. I want to see that work out kind of well, I guess. Ah, oh, yeah, no, now I've fallen off into space. Stairs in end cities. They're so annoying to. Oh, thank you. What a nice shulker you are. Any more shulkers? Any more shulkers? No. Seriously. Oh no, there's one that. one more somewhere here as well. Ah, there you are. You want any tear? Oh no, you're over there. Hello. Where's that one going? And uh, now I'm levitating. Yep, there you are. Hello. Correct with the last one. I'd give up if I were you. Mr. Shulker. Are you inside? No. Where are you? You were right here a moment ago. You scared of me, is that it? I'm not blame you. Oh, I'm Mr. Shulker shot there. Well, especially I should be taking these end rods because I'm thinking that these could actually go really well um, in my base. Because, uh, you know, it's uh, supposed to be very modern and futuristic. I'm thinking that end rods are a really good light source. All that. That and sea lanterns. So, if I ever find uh, a sea temple, or an ocean monument, whatever it's called, I will make a farm out of it. Well, and another thing I could do is make a chorus farm. So, yeah. Couple of chorus flowers. We'll do that. Just need chorus fruit. I'm pretty sure to make end rods. I could be wrong. Probably am wrong, but fairly certain. Come on. Why not? There we go. Just take both now. I can duplicate. Oh, not, not duplicate, but like I can get more through the farm. And I guess I probably need a bit of end stone as well. Ah, oh, there's so much to think about. Take eight for 
now. I'm pretty sure I've got some at home. Yeah, I'll head home now and get everything sorted out. Cool. Right, the next thing I want to do is make use of something that's been sitting in my chest for a pretty long time. Uh, and honestly, uh, I just, I mean, uh, the thing that I'm going to use it for, uh, I mean, I'm probably not going to use that thing that I'm going to use it for that often, but it'll be nice to have. And I'm speaking very cri uh, cryptically, but uh, long story short, what I want is a horse. Yeah, I've had some diamond horse armor sitting in uh, my spare gear shoulder box, uh, and some more diamond horse armor sitting in my spare gear chest for um, several weeks now. And yeah, I really want to go out there, find a horse. I think I can see one. Hang on, if I just. Yeah, there's one right there on the right of my head, uh, or the left from my perspective, as in the perspective of my character. And, yeah, I'm going to go over there, tame them, I'm going to saddle them up, and I'm going to actually succeed at taking off. And if they're not uh, good enough for what I want, then I will find a different horse. Come on, mate, love me. You know you love me. Oh, he's a healthy boy, isn't he? Come on, come on, love me, love me, love me, I said love me, thank you, alright then, I can't tell, this is fast, it feels fast, I think this is fast, how big of a jumper are you? Oh, you did that easily. I think I think we might have horse. I like you. This is a good horse. It's a very good horse. Look at his legs go. Look at him go. It's a good horse. I like this horse. He's healthy. He's fast. He's a great jumper. I'm gonna keep you. So I feel like I haven't had much of a chance to name things this series, and only one person's been submitting names. So, uh, for my horse, I've decided that I'm going to come up with a name. And, uh, I'm thinking that I'm going to call them, uh, how about... Have you ever had the joke about, uh, a horse walks into a bar, uh, and the barkeeper says, by the long face. So, I think I'm going to call this guy. No, it's not barkeeper, it's bartender, isn't it? Barman? Bar person? Bartender. I'm, uh, no, yeah, I'm going to call him bartender. That was the last thing that my animal did. Come on, bartender. Let's get you named. Where do you go? Bartender. Come here, bartender. Oh no, he, he doesn't know he's called bartender yet, so he won't respond to that. Seriously, where is he? He's a great horse. I love him. There you are. Don't just go wandering off, bartender. Yeah. Let me know if you if you like that name. If you don't, tell me why not. Because I think it's a great name for a great horse. And yeah, I love him. So anyway, uh, I need to build some stables for Tender right here, and I don't know where I'm going to put them, hmm, maybe, uh, right here, because I feel like I should have them close to where my new base is going to be, uh, so that you can be accessible at all times, so here sounds good. I think. I'm going to have to block this up here at the back so that it doesn't poke through into my wall. Yeah, I'm going to 
to spend a bit of time decorating this. It's all due for now. I'll make some improvements to it. But now I just have to head over to where I left. Bartender? Go grab him. Hello, bartender. Let's go get you to the new stables. Carefully down the mountain. Good boy, bartender. Let's use your new jumping skills to get you to the new home. I haven't put much effort into it at the moment, bartender, because uh, I have a video to make. But I will, but I promise I will do more off camera. Don't you worry. I will not leave you here in this very small, cramped, and poorly decorated area. I mean, you, you have a lot of hay, so that'll keep you very happy. I think. See, he loves it. Look. But yeah, uh, don't worry, he won't escape because uh, he thinks that um, these slabs right here are full blocks. He doesn't know that he can just, you know, walk right through them like this. He thinks that they're full blocks that nothing can go through. I'm a wizard phasing through them like this. But, yeah. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, uh, if you did, please uh, go and click that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, uh, please do consider subscribing as it's a great help. Uh, and I'm hoping to reach 20 subscribers by my birthday on the 11th of October. So if we can do that, I would be very happy uh, and uh, it would make my day. So please do uh, go down there, hit that subscribe button, give me a birthday present. Well, in the form of subscribing, it'll be an early birthday present. Whatever. Just go down there, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, all the buttons, the notification button, and I will see you later. Bye.